What's up everyone, this is Dennis from Level Cap Interactive and this is a review of Naughty Dog's latest release, The Last of Us. The story in The Last of Us focuses on Joel and Ellie and their struggle to survive in various locations throughout the United States, destroyed as a result of a fungal infection that spread 20 years ago. Joel is a survivor of the events that took place involving the infection and knows what life was like before it spread. Ellie, however, was brought into this world post-infection and has never experienced life outside of surviving in this environment. As you progress through the campaign, you'll witness two characters naturally build their relationship through their experiences and conversations had along the way. While more could be said about the details of the story, I'll leave the rest up to you and the other players out there to experience it for yourselves. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. The storytelling in The Last of Us is excellent. The combination of fantastic writing, great voice acting, and character facial expressions make for a believable experience that draws you into the game. The more progress you make through the campaign, the more you'll want to keep playing to see what happens next. The story is a major part of this game and is a key reason why this is one of the best games to be released this year. Not only does The Last of Us deliver on an excellent story, it also features a solid and unique gameplay experience. The way the game handles combat and upgrading your character is unlike what you've seen in other games. While you'll find ammo and health packs throughout the game, these are very rare occurrences. In order to survive, you will need to create your health items and certain weapons using the game's crafting system. Scattered throughout the game, you'll find random supplies that when combined will create health and weapons that you can use. For example, the combination of a rag and alcohol will create a health pack. Once created, the health pack can be used and once used, you'll watch as Joel literally patches himself up. The crafting system will sometimes have you make tough decisions. For example, you may be in a situation where you're low on ammo and health, and you may have just enough supplies to craft either a health pack or a Molotov cocktail. These two items require you to use the same supplies to create them. If you don't have enough supplies to craft both items, you'll have to choose which item is necessary depending on the situation you're in. While you are thinking about what items you need to craft, keep in mind that this is all happening in real time, which means that you can still be attacked by enemies should they approach you. You can also upgrade Joel's skills and guns as you collect bottles of pills and miscellaneous parts throughout the game. The pills will enable you to speed up your crafting ability or max out your health. The parts will allow you to increase your gun's clip capacity or decrease the time it takes to reload. The pills and parts are not always easy to find and are in short supply. This adds to the game's challenge as you will gradually become stronger as opposed to maxing out all upgrades in a short time. Combat in the game is intense and brutal. From the impact of smashing a clicker's head in with a pipe to a shotgun blast to a hunter's face, I never grew tired of taking on whoever was in my way. The controls are spot on, which makes everything from gunfights to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat near effortless. However, do not mistake The Last of Us for a cheap Uncharted clone. The combat is quite realistic, especially with how it treats melee weapons such as pipes and baseball bats. These weapons have limited use and will break apart after a few hits. That being said, all of the weapons have limitations, and this is done on purpose. Between the scarcity of ammo, usage of supplies, and brittle melee weapons, your combat strategy and techniques will constantly be changing. These touches, along with the crafting system, add a level of realism and depth not seen in many games today. Regarding the enemies, there are two main types that you will encounter, human survivors and the infected. The human enemies consist of hunters and an assortment of other dangerous survivors. If you approach them carelessly, you won't get far since in most cases they will outnumber you. They are also very intelligent individually, alerting others in the area that they are in danger and taking notice when a downed ally no longer verbally responds. Man down! Man down! Fan out! As for the infected, you'll mainly run into runners and clickers. The runners, due to the infection, have lost a cognitive ability for reasonable thinking and have become bloodthirsty savages looking for you to be their next meal. Should they see you, they'll run feverishly in your direction to attack you. The clickers, on the other hand, can't see you, but that doesn't make them defenseless. They hear extremely well via echolocation by making a clicking sound. When they hear something, they immediately focus on what was heard and move in that direction to either investigate or attack. Unlike the runners, however, getting attacked by clickers usually leads to an instant death. You'll notice that in the campaign, The Last of Us does not display an on-screen map to help you navigate or pinpoint where enemies may be hiding. Instead, the game implements a listen mode to keep you from entering sections blindly. This is an innovative gameplay element that allows you to plan your attack or evade a confrontation altogether. To sum it up, the gameplay in The Last of Us is fun, engaging, and will keep you on your toes. The Last of Us is stunning, and the attention to detail in the environments makes it feel as if you were there, struggling to survive. The destruction and abandonment of cities over the years has made way for plant life to reclaim areas that were once flourishing. The interiors of homes and businesses clearly illustrate the fear and desperation people experienced during the events that took place during the outbreak. Bodies of water have developed in certain areas, forcing you to swim to get to the next section. 
While other games have presented similar environments, Naughty Dog has added the extra polish that makes the game's environments more in line with what you'd see in a major film. The character design is some of the best I've seen in a game. Their facial expressions truly express what they are feeling at the time and make them feel more human. The infected look treacherous, and you can see how the infection has taken over their bodies, especially with the clickers. Their awkward movements further illustrate that they are not to be taken lightly. The animations are smooth, and I have yet to see the game hiccup or slow down. If it is raining or if you have to swim, you'll notice that Joel's clothing will get wet and gradually dry off, similar to Nathan Drake in Uncharted. I always thought this was a cool effect, and it works really well in The Last of Us. And lastly, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Sure. Repeat it. A great visual presentation should always be backed up by high quality audio, and The Last of Us excels in this department as well. The voice acting is top notch, and you can hear the emotions expressed by each character whether you are watching a cutscene or in the middle of play. The infected sound great as well. The runners disturbing grunts and screeches, along with the clicker's frightening sound, will remind you to take caution when moving around. I must say that Naughty Dog did an excellent job creating the clicker and the sound that they make matches perfectly with how they look. The sound design team didn't stop at the characters, however. They've managed to produce high quality environmental sounds as well. In particular, there's a part of the game where it is raining, and you come across a truck's cargo container. As you make your way through the container, it sounds just as if you're inside the container, and you will hear the individual raindrops hitting the container from outside. This was very impressive and displays the dedication the team had in perfecting the game's sound effects. So while you're playing The Last of Us, be sure to keep the volume up so that you can appreciate the hard work that was put into the game's audio. With all of the technical achievements and sophistication shown in the gameplay, visuals, and audio, The Last of Us makes it simple to jump in and start playing. The most you'll see on screen during play is a small heads-up display on the lower right that displays your health, ammo, and current weapon, and melee weapon strength. When you need to craft items, upgrade Joel's abilities, or read through notes you find along the way, you simply press select to bring up a more detailed heads-up display. While some games present menus with a vast array of options to choose from, The Last of Us keeps things simple to allow the player to focus on the action. Following an excellent campaign, I wondered what type of multiplayer experience The Last of Us would offer. Well, I'm happy to tell you that the multiplayer mode known as Factions is awesome and is an excellent complement to the campaign. What makes the multiplayer so good is the fact that you don't have to learn much in order to jump in and start playing. Many of the gameplay mechanics that make up the campaign work in Factions. In other words, if you have experience playing the campaign, you already know how to play Factions. There are two modes in Factions, Survivor and Supply Raid. Both modes are similar, however, there is no respawning in Survivor. While the gameplay in Factions is similar to the campaign, there are some notable differences. For instance, the parts that you normally collect in the campaign are automatically converted to supplies and unlock loadout points that you can use to upgrade your character. You can use silenced weapons and armor and can customize your character's appearance. And Listen Mode needs to recharge after a long period of use. The Last of Us redefines what it means to develop a top tier game in the industry today. If you own a PS3, do not hesitate to pick this one up. It is worth every penny and you will not be disappointed. For those that don't own a PS3, this is your reason to get one. We give The Last of Us a perfect score.